Okay, guys, I got a cool visitor. His name is, hey, look at that, I can even read. <laughs> Cannon. Read it, Cannon from Cap Cannon. And if you're ever down in Florida, you'll wish you could go check out his place because it's pretty cool. I'm going to have to get down there. Hey, there, what are you doing? Uh huh. So, I, you know what's funny is I just grabbed this guy. This is Bumblebee, of course. All you guys know that. Cannon I'm loves big lizards. He likes alligators. He's got the some cool galops. He's got aldabras. You got what kind of all cool sorts of fun stuff. He's we got, got all kinds of yeah, cool stuff. Yeah, you know, on the show we, we really deal with a lot of different turtles and tortoises and large. You know, I have a big monitor named Slinky. Slinky. Uh, some rock iguanas, a few snakes, some carpet pythons, a Burmese python. He's got all yeah, kinds of cool it's good stuff. Time. And uh, you guys have to check out his Insta, his YouTube oh and uh, his Instagram too. Yeah, all and under Camp Kennedy. If you're pretty interested. simple. Man. Now that we covered a shirt, now here's you want guys <laughs> want to see the funny part. This doesn't happen every day. Oh, love that just came out of my lizard. <laughs> okay, Why don't you I tell want, everyone I want, what it is? I want you guys to comment below what you think it is. Well, tell, where did it come out? It of? came out of right. Ooh. It came out of right there. Oh boy. So you guys know what it is, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> it's probably got a lot of protein. So what's the deal, man? This dude, Bumblebee is amazing, dude. You, you well, have so he just drank nice... a bunch of water. That's what, so he just dropped a bunch of water out of his mouth. Oh, okay. That's out of his mouth, Oh, okay, I thought it was coming out. <laughs> so I couldn't figure out why he was making the funny noises. Because he just <laughs> filled his whole mouth with water before we grabbed him. Oh my and God. He, and so he literally just slobbered water on the floor. Bumblebee, of course, is a... Uh, Mr. Kempling's boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> For all those Disney people out there. So before you leave, we're gonna pull out some cool stuff. Let's do it, man. I'm psyched so. to be down here. I haven't been down to SoCal in a while. Yeah, you know what's funny is I've known him for a while, but we talk here and there, but I've never been to his place, but I'm gonna go, but I watch it on YouTube, and that's what you guys ought to do too. Thanks. You man. gotta go check it out. And of course, well, there's a link right below, just right there. Just click, go down there and click. But hey, watch the video and tell us the funnest parts about it awesome. before we do that. So what do you think about Bumblebee? Oh, I love it. I mean, I have a, a beautiful monitor at home called Slinky. He's a water monitor. But this is obviously a different morph, isn't it? That's actually a... It's, it's, we call him Bumblebee because, of course, he has the, the bands. But he is a sulfur water monitor. Beautiful. And he's actually a wild-caught one, believe it or not. The, most of my stuff's captive born, but this guy was wild caught. I picked him up and he's about yay big and real cool and, and uh, he's a really awesome lizard. He's a cool lizard for sure. He's giving he's me got kisses a great right disposition. Now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah all that noise is just because we picked him up right after he drank a big bunch of water. Oh god, so, this is an awesome animal. Oh my it, god. Really cool. Cool, so, bro. Let's Lobster. go. Let's do so it. So we're going to have to definitely show you some of the tortoise and turtles and a little bit of everything. All right, let's go, bro. Okay. So the crazy part, we've been closed. I'm glad you didn't show up here last week when we were closed. Okay. We've been working on the place, and of course all you guys know it, because you can see it's all different now. And we got pulled down all the thatching, we got we put metal up, we're gonna do some decor back up there like we've always had. We're gonna make this place incredible. And the coolest part, we're gonna make the reptile zoo three times as large. No way. And so right here, we're gonna go work at making one of the exhibit one of the future's exhibits three times as large. We're gonna go give this to some of our Aldabras. Now I love Aldabras. He's got he's good. You guys have to go check out his channel. I know I've said that to you already, but he's got a really cool channel. He's got cool Aldabras, Galapagos. I really dig Galapagos. I used to have a big Galapagos I got from San Diego Zoo, uh, but it was one of their calls because it had it had a health issue, kind okay. of a uh, it had a, a, a kink in its spine, and and it had another one. Of course, down in down in Florida, it's got the small eye. Oh my god, that was mine. Oh wow, that's cool, man. <laughs> you know who I'm talking yeah, about? I think I do, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the funny part is, is is I mine I didn't realize it, but he had a kink in his spine down by, by his hind legs. Oh man, and. What did I do? I wanted to feed all my animals as much as I could feed them and make them big and healthy, and it backfired. Yeah, he got too heavy and he had mobility problems. Exactly, gotcha, which yeah. ended up giving him digestive issues, and when I lost him, I was suicidal. It was oh, just man, not a bummer. good thing, and uh, it just the way his, his name was Samson, and I, I miss him to this day. And uh, but we're gonna grow up some new new tortoises, and the cool part about these is they're out the abers, and because they're out the abers, come on you guys, let's turn around. Uh, they are definitely food motivated too. When they see this green stuff, they're probably they gonna They might come get around. a little nervous because I don't normally take them out, but oh, come here. All right. Yeah, these are beautiful. These guys look to be maybe five, six years old. Yeah, I'm not even sure their exact age, uh, but they're doing really well. You can obviously see the nice growth. Yeah, yeah, beautiful growth. That's incredible. They got 
they got incredible, they're growing really fast now. That's the cool part. I'm pretty excited and I can't wait for them to get big. I'm gonna build some nice, some nice enclosures for them. You know, the enclosures are not quite what I'm, you know, they're fine for the animals, right. but people have a tendency of thinking like a person. Yep. And so I wanna give them, I wanna give them an environment that people like more so. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Beautiful, and uh, where did these guys come from? You know, I got them. Uh, I got it from a guy in Florida. Okay. Uh, I, I think I know who you. Uh, I'm sure. Al Dabber man, right? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I did. Beautiful, beautiful tortoises. And, uh, My gosh. There's all the dirt and dust all over. Yeah, that's that's how they are, though. We these can animals, see. Man. You can see. Look at the growth. That's exactly Just what that brand is. brand new, beautiful growth in between each scoot. Yep. Doing really well. They're a little bit shy. Well, you know what I found with Al Dabras, uh, Jay, is that when they're at this size, they tend to be shy. Right. I have. Aldabra on my channel, uh, the people love him. His name's Nostradamus, right? So Nostradamus, when he was this size, he was always frightened of me. Okay, but then one day something happened. He got a little bit bigger. You know, he like mentioned I was telling you. Yeah, you know, he was telling me earlier about uh, Mr. Kipling, his uh, his or Frank, I think is his yep. name, the big water monitor. Correct. Is once a reptile that's gonna get big gets to a certain size. They just know they who know. they are. They're right. confident in who they exactly. are. Exactly. Now these guys are usually pretty good, but they're a little bit shy when I take them out. But I want to take them out, and share them with you guys, because you know it's kind of back there, and yeah, in, in a few minutes. I'll probably leave them out on the floor for five or ten minutes and, and we'll come back to them. Hopefully they'll be out chomping and, and feel a little bit more dialed in. But we're, right now they're a little bit nervous because we pulled them out. We normally feed them inside. Yep. And if I would have thought a little bit ahead of time, I would have set that lettuce outside and went and did something. But I no wanted worries. to share them. But they're beautiful. They're yeah. kind of fun. They got, they're, you know, got three of them. Figured, you know. Three's okay, not a crowd. Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> the good thing is, is if we walk away, we'll probably get back here. And we'll, if you're not fast enough to catch a tortoise, then you got bigger problems. Here. <laughs> so, they won't go nowhere with two yeah, heads, yeah. Of, two heads of green leaf lettuce. I mean, romaine sitting out. Well, they're, they're beautiful. They'll man. figure it out and go to town at it, and they'll be gone. So, they, it's amazing how much a tortoise can eat. Oh, they're they, incredible. They walk around and graze all day long, yeah. and that's what they're designed for. And so when we're in captivity situation, they're just going to want to eat as much as possible because uh, they're programmed to eat when the eating is good. Because if you think about where Aldabras come from, it's a it's kind of this coral limestone atoll in the Indian Ocean, and there's not a lot of vegetation, yeah. yet they grow very large. It's amazing. It is amazing. Obviously, Evolution they probably eat seaweed. <laughs> yes, seaweed, they eat everything. And in fact, some of these animals have actually washed up from the Seychelles right. onto the mainland of Africa. <laughs> and they found barnacles on them because they can survive. I, I've survive. seen one with barnacles on it. Is that crazy or what? They're, they're true survivors. And that's why I really love uh, the turtles and tortoises. Because even though they're slow, may not be as exciting as snakes sometimes. <laughs> but they have this, like, just this, this kind of, well, it's like Aesop's fable, Most man. people don't know it, but I love giant lizards, giant tortoises, and big snakes. They're, I, I, Most people don't know it? Well, they don't know what it. They, they think look at me, this place. They think of me as a snake guy, and uh, they don't know, you know, on YouTube. Well, you guys on YouTube, you think of me as a snake guy, but really, I have the whole reptile zoo for a reason, and that's because I like it all. Yeah. I, if I, I'm like a little kid, and, and uh, I'm like an adult that has money for a little kid, except I don't really have the money, but yeah. it looks like it. But anyway, <laughs> we're having a good time. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull something out that I don't pull out every day. We're gonna pull out the big giant snapping turtles. Yes. You guys ready? You better share this video with a friend so they can see it. Loving it. <laughs> okay, now it's time to get the alligator snapper. Mm -hmm. out. Well, I see he's in with I some alligators. We gotta get a cool. We gotta get a cool Florida animal that's insanely cool. Definitely, I love gator snappers. One of my favorite. Actually, snapping turtles were the first turtles I ever really got. Well, you know, it's funny when I got when I got Big Lou, we were kind of broke, which is not that uncommon. Okay. And I spent a decent amount of money in my. My daughter said, Dad, don't you think we could spend the money better? And I go, no way. I've been wanting a big one like this for a long time. And one of the people that she's like looked up to for years, because they've, they've been in animals for like 35 years, yeah. walked in and said, oh my God, that's the coolest thing in the whole zoo. And she went, and then pretty soon the next cool person walked in, oh, that's my favorite. There pretty soon go. I was like, I don't need to say no more, do I? And she goes, okay, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So wait a minute now, how are you going to get this guy, man? You're going to get wet, I guess. No, you're going to get wet. What do you mean I'm going to get wet? I'm not ready to get wet. You're gonna have to, you, you brought your swim trunks, didn't you? No, but if I got it, actually, get wet. Oh. Actually, this is called a snake hook, but we use it for we use it for more than snakes. All right, cool. It's kind of like an elephant hook. It's kind of like a snake hook. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, hey, look, all I got to do is extend my arm 
and I'll see if I can get him to come this way. Come on, come on, boy. Come on. Nice. He is a monster, man. He's pretty big. Right on, dude. More good. Yeah. Are you all right, bro? How you doing over there, Jay? Here we go. He's pretty heavy. I need to open it up a little bit more. Oh my God. Okay, Big Lou, show everybody how cool you are. Oh, God, you are right? Big. Holy smokes, brother. Right He's on. a big dude. Go yes. ahead. Let's get him. All right, I got him. Oh, <laughs> Big Lou. <laughs> That's a big old gator snapper, now, bro. We've been working on him. We want to make sure everything looks good. I always pull him out for yep. once about every couple months. Check out his skin. Make sure everything looks good. Well, look yeah, out, looks man. great. <laughs> He's just looking for an arm out. I mean, a hand out. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Where's Coyote Peterson when you need him? Uh, <laughs> he wouldn't put his arm in this guy. <laughs> if he did, he wouldn't get one back. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. I love gators. Snappers did the most prehistoric looking turtles ever. And oh my god, he's over 100 pounds. He's 200. 200? 172 pounds when I got him. And let me tell you, oh. he's a lot. Get him off your knee for a minute. Well, dude, I, I didn't go. I'm, I'm glad I didn't go to the gym today. because Lo Logan, Logan picked him up and held him against his leg. And I said, Take him off your knee for a minute. And he goes, Oh, put him back down. <laughs> this guy is massive, man. What an animal. He's oh, pretty incredible. Now, if you look, you can see his lure laying right there. I'm not going to stick my finger there, but right there is his lure laying on his, t right there by his tongue. And that lure right there is pretty impressive. When it starts wiggling, you think it's a good fish, but uh, uh, we won't be testing it. No <laughs> way, man. Fish, so, uh, fish that get tricked, get eaten. So apparently his weight's good. Yeah, weight's good. <laughs> no, this animal looks great. I got to be he honest. He looks with fantastic. You know, um, I've got gator snappers. He's got an home. old injury when he was a, when he was a youngster, and his tail's kind of weird. But that's okay. He'll be fine. But on. Yep, looking good. All right, man. What do you say? You want to get him back in? There? I think we ought to. All right, dude. Let's go. <laughs> What's the technique that you like to do? Just get him out over the over the top to All right. clear him. Ugh. Hold on. Well, he, he's ever he looks. Oh. He's heavy. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, two hands. Oh, Isn't that amazing how much he weighs? Buddy. I like to let him breathe first, and we're going submersible. Holy that is an amazing prehistoric pet. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, He's man. not really a pet, but you know what? He's really cool. He loves eating his chicken, and he digs his pond, and he's the king of the pond. That is awesome. there, Of course, I don't know if we can get him over here. Probably can use some chicken. Come on, guys. Come on, Darth. Come here. Too cold? Not that into food? Come on. Oh this man, awesome. they're all relaxed. They're sitting over there on their heat pads, kicking back. <laughs> this is great, man. I really appreciate you taking me around today and spending the time with you. I love that I got a chance to see this place. Uh, the last I'm glad time I was you came. Here, dude, the last time I was here, honestly, I used to be a BMX pro, and I used to live out in Huntington Beach, which is just a stone's throw from here. And uh, I would, to get my reptile fixed back then, I'd just cruise over here, and I'd, we never even met. I'd just like be like one of those kids looking around. So this is pretty rad. If you guys man. know Mike Hucker. He's he's he actually told me about him a long time ago. So I messaged him and we messaged back and forth and we keep going like this. I was in Florida one not too long ago, only been there one time since I've known you really. Right. Which I used to go a lot. And I just couldn't get over there. I had too much too many book plans. Yeah. And, uh, well we're gonna get you over my Don't place. worry, I'm gonna get there and wait till you see some of the cool stuff he does. Awesome man. Thanks so much for it's having me, guys. Pleasure. See Don't you forget soon. link right down there. Go check out his page. Don't make sure to follow them. So anyway, peace out, you guys. Hope you had a fun little tour around here. Take care. Later.